Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna do a versus video between the brand new Flex impact driver versus the Makita impact driver. Now this is my favorite impact driver because of how compact it is with the power you have, but I wanna see on, on how Makita compares to Flex when it comes to this specific impact driver. Now the model of the Flex is FX1371A. I'll put the specs in as the tools are going. The model number four of the Makita is XTD16. One more time, XDT16. So as you can see, there is a significant difference in size when it comes to these two. And uh, Flex is 24 volt, the Makita is 18 volt. So let's go through a couple of tasks and see on how well these are against each other. All right, so first let's do the Flex. As you can see, the battery is full. We are gonna do a six inch by one eighth inch lag. It does have a single LED light on the base. Speed three, it is on speed three. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so next let's do the Makita. Uh, this, it's on speed four. Oh, sorry, the battery is full. Much, much lighter, much smaller to handle. Ready, go. Time. Th that, this Makita seriously is so easy to operate. It's so light. It's even with a five amp hour battery, it is so light. I see, when, unfortunately when it comes to flex, it is not quick insert. You actually have to push the eject button to get it in. All right, let's take flexes out. Ready? Go. Time. All right, so let's take Makita's out. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, and I'm sorry, we are using five amp hour batteries for both of them. All right, next let's do a th uh, six inch specs. We are using Hilti nut setter bits. Ready? Go. Time. That flex is a fast one. All right, so ready? Go. Time. The Makita does have two LED lights on the side. Take the flexes out. Ready? Go. Time. This is quick. That is a fast impact driver. Right, let's take out my Makitas. Ready? Go. Time. That this is the Makita is very quiet. I will say that it is very quiet. All right. So next, let's do an eight-inch Timberlock. Ready? Go. Time. Let's drive in one for Makita. Ready? Go. Time. Ready? Go. Time. Nice. Ready? Go. Yeah, there, there is a big difference in, uh, in speed when it comes to these two. Let's do a four inch by half inch lag and a six inch by half inch lag and see how well these do against each other. We are using a Makita 3 8 to a half inch adapter, brand new. I'm hoping that it survives. The Craftsman and the Ryobi adapter lasted a video and a half. And the Ryobi actually lasted a half a video, so, so yeah. All right, ready? Go. I think that's time. That's time. Not too shabby. Yeah, these, these lags is a tough task. These lags are tough. All right, so ready? Go. A big difference. Time. Big difference in speed though. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Wow. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, Makita's not gonna be able to do it that fast. No way. No way. Ready? Go. Yeah, not even close. Not even close on that one. Flex made this a little bit quieter with the same amount of speed. And remember, we're using 18650 cell batteries. We are not using 21700 cell batteries, but it's actually doing a good job. But it's not a bad tool at all. I'm actually impressed with this tool. Not bad for their first impact driver line that's out. 
It's only gonna get better with it, but other companies are gonna get theirs better as well. Ready? Go. I think that's time. Time. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, we're gonna redo that. I hate it when that happens. It happens once in a blue moon. Ready? Go. Time. That is time. All right, let's take it the final test for flex, then we'll do a temperature reading. Ready? Go. That, that guy, I, that power for flex, it, it, that, that's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. But like I said, it's very loud. 91, 95, 91 degrees. 91 degrees for flex. There was one spot where it was 95, but. All right, the final test for Makita, and then we'll take its temperature reading. Ready, go. Time. Makita did make a brand new line, which I still need to get. They made a 40 volt tool line, which I can't wait to get those and test those out and see how well they do. But yeah, but like I said, this was 18 volt versus 24 volt, but uh, Flex didn't do too bad. But you can see there is a major difference in size. There is a major difference in size when it comes to the batteries, the tool themselves. I mean, like the tool is like an inch higher all the way around with the batteries and and everything so yeah there is a difference in size but that flex is seriously powerful and the final battery life for the makita is full bar still and the battery life for the flex is full, full bar still so they both uh use the same energy and they both have full batteries still it's their it's probably like about like 90 percent on both of them so and it's it seriously does impress me especially that they didn't make any promises in their promotional video on on the this tool they just said it's a good tool and that's actually acceptable so there's no reason to challenge it because it actually is a good tool they did not say this is the fastest most powerful impact driver on the market they only did that for one tool so yeah this tool is actually good it, it, it's uh i can't wait to test this out against the walt and milwaukee but yeah but uh, this makito still is my favorite uh impact driver because of the size, how light it is, how balanced it is. And uh, until another company makes a better, more comfortable impact driver than this, this will remain my favorite. I love this impact driver. But yeah, I, in my honest opinion, I think Flex won. I think Flex uh, took the cake on this one. But that's pretty much it, you guys. More testing coming up in the future when it comes to other uh, brands. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.